Wanya, I would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today. I would also like to pay our respects to elders, both past and present. Let us firstly thank our two amazing players, the number one and two seed, for a fantastic week and for being here today, this afternoon, in the final. <laughs> Magnificent to see them here on Pat Rafter Arena. Before we crown our women's champion, please welcome our VIPs here today. Our Deputy Mayor for the Brisbane City Council, Councillor Krista Adams, Tournament Director Cameron Pearson, the WTA Supervisor Pam Whitecross, the Chair Umpire Thomas Sweeney, the Tennis Australia Director Peter Robertson, the Teens T Tennis Queensland Chair Jane Prentice, and four time Grand Slam doubles champion and former world number three in singles Wendy Turnbull. The Brisbane International would also like to acknowledge the support of all our partners, including our presenting partner, Evie. We absolutely appreciate your support in the event. The Brisbane International is proudly supported by the Queensland Government via Tourism and Events Queensland and the Brisbane City Council via the Brisbane Economic Development Agency. I would now like to welcome the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Krista Adams, to say a few words on behalf of the City of Brisbane. Well, thank you very much. It's absolutely wonderful to be here this afternoon and see the success of this tournament. Now it's back in Brisbane again for the entire week. Congratulations to both the ladies in the game today uh, to see the calibre of the players we've had here this week and, and see a rematch of the Australian Open has been absolutely wonderful. And I want to thank everybody who's come along for this week, Queenslanders, New South Wales, wherever you've come from, to make sure it is very clear that the Brisbane International is the number one start of the year sporting event in Australia. The, Sh the Shriner Council is very, very proud to support this event through the Brisbane Economic Development Agency and we look forward to holding this here for many more years to come. Well done everybody. Great words, thank you so much. I'd now like to ask the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Krista Adams, to come forward again and present the finalist trophy to Arena Sabalenka. Well, honestly, I don't know what, what, where to start from. First of all, Ileana, whoa. That was interesting much. <laughs> Great job. Thank you for those three games. At least we make look at like a fight. <laughs> Good job. Congrats you and your team on, uh, on an amazing week. And uh, see you in Melbourne. <laughs> um, thank you everyone who uh, make this tournament happen. Uh, thank you all the sponsors. Thank you tournament director. You, you make our stay really special. Thank you for everything. A uh, couple of words to my team. You did a bad job today. <laughs> wow, so, six last six three. That's all your fault, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I think we, we start. I mean, it's an amazing week for us as well. Uh, of course, uh, we wish we would finish this week differently, but it is how it is. Anyway, I think we showed some great tennis, and um, hopefully, we'll we'll do better at the, at the Australia Open. And of course, guys, thank you so much for an amazing atmosphere during this week. I really enjoyed playing in front of you. And I just wanted you to save your energy for the men's final, so you, you'll, you'll have this energy, you know. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Arena, and we look forward to having you back here and, of course, the defending Australian Open title. Let's give it up one more time, please, for Arena Sabalenka. <laughs> and it gives me great pleasure now to introduce the four times Grand Slam doubles champion, Wendy Turnbull, to present the Yvonne Gulagon Cawley Trophy to our champion, 
Alina Rybakina from Kazakhstan. I would like to say uh, congrats, congrats, Arina, with a great uh, week and uh, also with a great season last year. And uh, hopefully we meet in Melbourne for sure. Uh, I think it's going to be a great battle again. Despite the score, it's always tough to play against you. It's, uh, we always push each other, which I think is great. And we improving this way. So hopefully we continue. And of course, congrats to your team. Uh, oh, congrats. <laughs> they are doing they are doing good job no matter what arena says you are doing really good job and uh, i really enjoy playing you no matter the no matter the result as i said we always push each other which is great i think and uh, of course i would like to say thank you everyone who came to support us and of course for all the atmosphere atmosphere this uh, week it's been amazing it's uh, first time for me here in brisbane and i look forward to come back next year for sure <laughs> And uh, last thing, of course, uh, I want to say thank you to my team for all the work we did and, uh, of course, for all the uh, tough pre-season we, we made together. And uh, not the whole team is here. Some uh, are still traveling, some are back home. But uh, really, it's been amazing last year and hopefully this season we continue. And, uh, of course, thank you to all the sponsors, uh, Brisbane City and uh, EV and uh, everyone who made this tournament possible. Thank you so much. What an incredible tournament from our champion, her sixth WTA title. One more time, our champion, Alina Rybakina. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the official presentation for the women's singles final. Plenty more tennis to come. We'll have some photos taken now. But let's please, one more round of applause to our finalists today for a fantastic final. So, Helena Rabakina. The 2024 Brisbane International Champion. Photos the Brisbane sign. With the summer of tennis right around the corner, Wide World of Sports has every angle covered. From match highlights, press conferences and every breaking news story, Wide World of Sports is your home of tennis. So click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing this summer.